Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our campaign as the United States of America in Vicky 3. And things are going pretty well. Our economy is skyrocketing now. We're up to fourth worldwide. And that is mainly because we have such a large amount of construction capacity. And we're just building as much as we can. We're trying to sort our market out, get everything back up to being about right. Tools is a major issue next. We're also short on opium and silk, as well as arms and all that sort of thing. Now, I'm thinking about, uh, in terms of war, we're probably not going to go to war for a little bit with a big nation. But we, we're going to try, firstly, to go after... Mexico again because I've just noticed that we are able to go after them again uh, We'll go for Sinaloa next. I'm going to take a bit of infamy here uh, We'll go for Jalisco and Mexico as well because that'll be a lot of people in there And uh, probably Guerrero, maybe Yucatan actually uh, Yucatan I'm going to leave about 20... Yeah, let's go for Yucatan. We're going to try and leave a little bit just in case someone wants to get swayed across. I mean, Russia, Austria, and Spain all seem like they want to join. Um, what is our infamy then? Yeah, that's that'll be why. <laughs> because we've become a pariah. Ah, and uh, Brazil doesn't like that either. So I think we really do need to cool off after this. Very likely those guys are going to join now because they they will hate the fact that we are a pariah. And we can't sway Britain or anything to our side. But anyway, I don't think they'll be able to get to us. I mean, Spain, who was it? Spain, Russia, and Austria. I mean, we don't border any of those right now. We've got the Orangian Peasant Revolt versus Orange. Nice. Everyone hates us because of that uh, infamy. Now, let us mobilize these guys. Get them on the front line. Ulysses Grant. Get on there. And then let's activate a few conscripts. We'll activate the New York, the Pennsylvania, and Ohio conscripts. And let's hope... That they get into those armies. The ones that I've just noted. You're not getting any more. What's your... What is your HQ? Your Dixie HQ. Ulysses as well. So hopefully... Well, we should mobilize you, actually. Uh, the only problem that we may have is that if they do join... Hmm. We've just increased one of our state institutions. Education level. Good. That should keep our literacy rate going up. Now, we don't have any... So we've got the health system here, which I do want to increase. But we don't have any sort of poor laws. So that is something that I want to do. Why can we not do that? Illegitimate government. Hmm. Why is our legitimacy just gone? So, no one likes the intelligentsia. Why not? What happened to the intelligentsia? They were on a huge amount more percentage of clout than that before, weren't they? With the Communist Party. Hmm. Industrialists, no one wants them. So. Let's go for that, I guess. Let's confirm that for now. And then. Let's go for wage subsidies. I know the Southern, the Southern Planters are in government, but hopefully we can get that passed through. We are building a lot of logging camps now. That's good, because we do need more wood. Yeah, we do have a big deficit of wood. We've suddenly gone down to a big deficit of fabric, probably because of all those um, 
farms that we've just built. We need furniture, fabric, tobacco, and paper. I do have a paper already queued up in the queue, don't I? Along there somewhere. <laughs> uh, and the 11 pages that we have. That's a lot of wood. Uh, paper. Oh, we're going to need so many more tools. Got tobacco, rubber. Oh, no, I don't have... What was it that we needed? Furniture. I don't have any furniture manufacturers put in there. Let's go for 10 more in there. 10 in Massachusetts. And 10 in Kasai. We're going to need so many more tools. And I think, buildings-wise, we'll get the tools all to the top. At least a few of them, anyway. We do have steel now, so we should, in terms of our steel, where are we? We're still on a bit of a deficit, but we have loads of iron. So if we get to a big deficit of steel, we will start to increase. Uh, yeah, we should actually, before we do that, then go for a, a few steel mills. How much does a steel mill cost? Steel mill makes 90 per level. So let's go for, like, Wisconsin... American Congo, and then Bass Congo, and then, yeah, let's rejig that a little bit. So, we'll rejig the steel mills first. Yep, that'll be it. 16, only 16 pages of building, guys. We'll have a bit more building capacity soon. No one actually joined the Mexicans over here. Oh, I feel so bad for them. In fact, I'm probably going to do a naval invasion when the war kicks off, just behind them. Yeah, war has broken out. So let us get a naval invasion ready. And let's go for Chiapas down here. Disease among the wounded. Get some of them off to Colombia. Or the District of Colombia, should I say. D C, oh look at that! That's one of our mines working hard. A scar on the landscape. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's just because it's impassable. Weird. We should, if we look in, at, like, I don't want the Democratic Party. I don't think. Yeah, like New York is pretty built up now. Bit of turmoil though. We should see a lot of industry going on in these places. Railroads. All that sort of thing. More rubber in Benin. Good. Oh, we're actually losing this battle. So hopefully that uh, naval invasion kicks off. Waiting for James Cass's troops to mobilize. God damn it. Uh, where is he? He's, he's going to be waiting for a long time to get all 53 of those guys. So... That's going to take forever. Let's patrol the coast. Then we can get you... In here. That'll be a bit better. And then hopefully he'll be fully mobilized. This guy didn't even have any have any troops. Where is his? So his is here. They have there's loads of barracks there. Oh, I don't get it. I don't understand this system. It's so rubbish. It's terrible. It is fucking awful. <laughs> God damn, the war in this game is so unbelievably bad. And like I got a load of conscripts. Activated in Ohio, and uh, I guess it's Ohio and stuff. So, what if we go to, like, the HQs? So, Midwest HQ. Which one's that? Senegal, Mexico. Must be the Midwest HQ. Like, can I... Mobilize these guys from this page, please. 
I'm sure I'm being really dumb here, but this system is just so fucking shit. It is so bad. It is terrible. <laughs> like, what? what is this? I just... Oh, fucking hell, man. So go to conscripts. I don't understand why they can't just go to the armies that need them. Like, why not? It's so stupid. Go for Tennessee. Uh, Georgia. Missouri and Texas. And hopefully he starts to get some troops now. Still seeing zero. Uh, where does it say their HQ here as well? Congo HQ. I'm pretty sure I activated some con... Uh, go for the Niger Delta. That should... You're kidding. It doesn't mean... Really? So, those conscripts are just uh, doing nothing. Makes no sense. Just give the conscripts to the armies! How stupid is this fucking system, bro? It is so bad. Like... <sighs> So, my armies need men, right? Oh, one of them's died as well. Great. They always fucking die. One of the... Right, one of the armies needs men, okay? But you activate the conscript, and then all they do is just sit in the area and not go to the front line. How dumb can it be? Let's go for the petty bourgeois. Right. This guy, the new guy that we have. This guy. Let's mobilize you. And let's see now if we can get that naval invasion done. And it's always James Cass. You can defend and then assault that front. I'm hoping we start winning some of the battles. Yeah, we're going to win that one. Good. Right. Sorry for that rant, guys. It is just so dumb. The military system, like, they've tried to streamline it, but it's so convolutedly shit that it is just terrible. <laughs> like, it, I don't know. I, I don't think it's good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think there's any way you could justify that it's good when you compare it to, like, the other Paradox games that are available. Like, even EU4, even CK3 has a much better... A military system than this. And all that is is point and click. <laughs> God damn it, bro. Ah, oh, well. Got that out of the system anyway. But, yeah. Episode 11. <laughs> Fun. Uh, right. Let's have a look around. We're now pretty much... Filling this whole region. We just need to do a little bit more in this little area. And a little bit here. And we are all good. We now have state there as well. Another state to incorporate. Loads of them. Zambia as well. And uh, American Equatoria. Good. Fantastic. Have we done this yet? Still waiting for mobilization. God damn, that's so dumb. Waiting for the mobilization. Okay. Keep pressing on. Destroy the Mexicans. Throw them back into the sea. The Pacific Ocean will come from the Atlantic and push them back to the Pacific. Uh, and hopefully we take a lot. Well, we'll take all the land that we can off them. And that'll be great. That's going to be a big boost to our population. Hopefully to our economy as well. Uh, I said I wasn't going to do many wars. <laughs> and I'm not. I'm not going to do that many wars. Just I'm going to try and try and be a bit safer with the wars. Because we are a pariah. Um, but yeah. We should be very close to destroying Mexico now. There'll be a but a shadow of their former self. This is all USFA. 
Hmm. Right, so what's over here? This is just a big mess. There's not really any point in uh, getting involved in that. We want to take a bit more land in Africa, of course. I mean, Portugal's a nice, juicy target, but I believe that they are a protectorate. Yeah, they're a protectorate of the UK. Okay, France won against Oman and only took a treaty port. And did puppeted Sindh. And that was it. Well done, France. Well done. Oh, look at that now. That is beautiful. That is glorious. Wow. Let's incorporate those states. How long is it going to take? Five years. Not too bad. Not too bad. Going to cost us a lot of um, bureaucracy. But these states are pretty decent. Look, we've just jumped from 39 to 44 million population. That's great. Uh, economy's jumped a little bit as well. We're now number three worldwide. We are just absolutely shredding uh, through the economy right now, aren't we? What is the steel situation? Okay, now in steel, we have a big, big boon of steel. We have a lot of steel. And we've also got a load of artillery for some reason. Probably the reason before that we didn't have a... More of this is because we had a deficit of steel. Yeah, it's very likely. Um, so, yeah. And fabric has just actually just gone over the top again. When before it was down quite a bit. Our uh, standard of living has just taken a dive. Why is the standard of living in Kansas so bad? Well, why is it so bad? What's happened here? No one wants to work in the coal mines. That's probably... It's the, it's the only thing here in Kansas. So that's probably why. Hmm. Well, that's so weird. Hopefully that improves. They haven't got full access to the uh, American market either. We should probably take a look at that. American Panama is isolated. Ah, uh, yeah. Good point. We should build a port over there. Get one of those. And then let's have a look at where we need railways. I mean, I've, I've already queued them in, haven't I? But I should probably get them all in there. So, yeah, that's that's fine. The Niger Delta. Oh. Yeah, I think we're good. Yep. Ooh. A country is in a state of civil war. Really? How has the government become so goddamn... We are fighting the Maya uprising. Um, I mean, okay. Fine. I thought that was Mexico territory anyway. But our government being illegitimate is not good. <sighs> no legitimacy at all in these governments. But we can't make... Okay, we now have wage subsidies. That's great. So that does help a lot. We could go for the old age pension. Which pretty much makes everyone happy. Hmm... That's really good, actually. It's a very good policy. The industrialists just get a little bit more upset, but that's fine. Let's have a look at our institutions, then. We should now have Social Security. Which needs a lot of bureaucracy. So now let's have a look at our market. How are we doing for the iron now? We still have a big boon of iron. 
So the steel is really, really going to help. Actually gone down a bit on the small arms. Uh, wood. I'm sure we just built a load of logging camps. So now we're on to the tooling workshops, which we do have a big deficit of. Um, clothes again. Clothes is just crazy. Why does clothes seem to be always an issue? Um, so buildings wise, what are we building? So we're building the tooling workshops, a lot of them. Then we'll go, ah, that's where the logging camps were. Lots of logging camps. Then the paper mills, then arts university, tobacco, rubber, then the railways. Still a long way away a lot of this stuff. Um, but I think we're fine. Yep, the gold mines are depleted. Revoke American claims. Crush the Maya succession. Yeah, no one has joined. So, I'm sure we'll be fine. I'll mobilize Grant again. There we are. Yeah, we do have a bureaucratic shortfall. All that matters is that we keep going up in terms of our economy. I wonder who is the number one in the world. In terms of GDP. Wow! France! 426 million! Look at their GDP per capita's double ours as well. 426 million! How? Don't even own that much land! Like, France doesn't have that much more population than us. Wow. 426 million. What? How? Standard of living is 18.9. Has is impoverished still. I'm not surprised with a GDP of 426 million. That is crazy. Fair play, France. Fair play. What can you say? Come on. Let's attack them, boys. Let's see how strong their troops are. Stronger than ours, it seems. <laughs> Great. Uh, let's go for a naval invasion. On the back end. More rubber has been discovered. Hmm. I'll make the armed forces happy. Rubber rush. I really do want to get that up to like 300 now, construction sector wise. But with that such big deficit of cash. Hmm. That's going to add another two. I Meaning I could. Yeah, I don't. I can't afford less legitimacy right now. Our government keeps going from being legitimate to just having nothing. What was that? We got more minting. It's good. I want more money. So give me stuff that gives me money. Macroeconomics. And more of that. I think we go for central planning. More taxation capacity. What are all the notifications up here? Unhealthy economy. Mm. Credit use, 61.7%. Someone bankroll me, it's fine. Yeah, I think we'll try and pay that off first. Uh, we've got more declared interests that we can go for. And, yeah, I'm thinking we go... For those two. And look towards Asia, really. Could also go for Northern. Up here, but I need silk and I need opium. And at the minute, that's the only place we can really get it. I guess, could we do opium over here? I don't know. Uh, Yucatan looks like they want to call for peace. Uh... Yeah, we've crushed them. Wait, so that was Mexico. 
I swear. Did we? T I don't think we took it in the last war. And now we just have it. <laughs> Great. Thank you for that, the uh, Maya uprising. <laughs> Great job. Fantastic. Oil discovered in Alberta. I don't think we can build oil rigs though yet, can we? More enactment success. Good. More rubber rush. Ah, well. War with Mexico anyway. Good fun. Good fun. God, look at the clothes. 4,000. That's really going to be hampering our uh, people, isn't it? Uh, well, what are we building now? We're building tooling workshops. Slowly bringing that down. I think we go for... I mean, firstly, we need silk, don't we? Uh, sorry, not silk. Fabric. Uh, sorry, cotton plantations. Um, and, yeah, 10 in California, 10 in New Jersey, 10 in Florida. Another 30. That'll be fine. And then we'll build more clothes manufactory textile mills. We did just build an absolute load, though. Let's go and... Let's go and check, though, if we go onto our urban buildings, go to textile manufacturing. Yeah, some of them must just not be producing. There's only one in Veracruz. Why is the Niger Delta one not producing? We're not getting enough stuff there? Is that the problem? What about the mechanized looms? Uses more people. Um... Uh... What do we have an input shortage of? I've not built... I've not done a dye thing for ages. Uh, we do have a big deficit of dye. That's probably part of it, isn't it? So I think if we... If we get dye and fabric... If we get a bit more dye, I think we'll be fine. Go to resources. Dye plantations. Let's go for... Oh, Mexico. And let's get them towards the top. Or at least some of them. We probably don't need these cotton plantations. I'll get a few of them anyway. Dye. Let's get a few of those towards the top. When I say a few, quite a lot, it seems. Uh, and the tooling will be fine. How much do we... Uh, are we behind on the tooling now? Let's have a look. Wait, we might actually have positive. Yeah, we're positive on tools now, so we're good. And, yeah, we're deficit on a few things. Like, small deficits over here. These ones above 400, 500 are really do need, do need sorting out. Glass and... Liquor, wood will be coming soon, tobacco, clothes is just a major issue. Let's have a look at importing clothes. Is that it? 15. Um, how about uh, dye? You can get 185 from the Balinese market. Um, okay, that's fine. <laughs> we need more rubber plantations as well. We're making 90k now. Look at our economy just skyrocket. It's great. Yeah, there are some places with some really low standards of living. Like, Kansas is still, still terrible. Still terrible. It is coming up, though. Now those coal mines have started actually being productive. Uh, but anyway, that's fine. Uh, I thought we built. The kind of... Oh, we must have just skipped past it. Get that still to the top. That still needs to be built. Uh, the dye plantations are all nearly, nearly built anyway. Fantastic. But anyway, guys, that is the half an hour mark. So, from the heart of the sea. 
most profound interest in the same title. More loyalist laborers. Yeah, thank you. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. Please do like and subscribe. If you did make it to this point of the video, comment down below who you think we should go to war with next. That'd be fantastic. Thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure. I um, will see you all again on the next video.